Hey folks, this is Kalani. As everyone is making their way to that magical number of 120, I figure it would be a good time to sit down and have a chat about the different systems you're going to run into at max level. We've touched on gearing and how you can get up to that 340 item level fairly easily and quickly, but there's another side to gearing which is going to rely heavily on farming up artifact power. While AP is going to remain pretty similar to how it was in Legion, there's a few changes to the artifact systems and artifact power overall, so let's have a look at how you can farm up artifact power quickly and what it's going to be used for. So how does this new artifact work? You should have been given the Heart of Azeroth just before you started questing throughout Zandalar and Kul Taras. The artifact is going to soak up any and all artifact power, or Azerite, you gather throughout your journeys. We don't have any AP items which we need to right click this time so that's going to be a huge time saver in the long run. The amulet is incredibly important because it's the only neck piece you're going to get for the entire expansion that we know of but for each level you gain, the amulet will increase by two item levels, so it's going to be an important part of gearing up, but the levels also unlock powers in the new system of Azerite armor. As you get higher and higher item level Azerite armor, the powers you can unlock will increase in potency, but also require a higher level amulet to unlock. If you get a mythic dungeon piece of gear, but you don't have a high enough amulet, you could actually be left without any Azerite powers at all. So it's definitely going to be important both for character progression and for ensuring you can make the most out of any Azerite gear you come across. As you level up and work your way through quest after quest, some will reward you with a good chunk of artifact power, but if you really want to get started farming this stuff, you're going to need to hit max level. Up at 120, you're going to have access to all sorts of content which can help you in your artifact power farming adventures, but the first thing you want to have a look at is the island expeditions. You can find the table to queue up for the islands down at the port of Zandalar for the Horde, and in Boralus Harbour for the Alliance. You unlock these via your war campaign, so you'll need to do that before you can actually head out to the islands, but when you have the quest to go through the tutorial it will show you exactly how islands work, and also show you where you can queue up. They're pretty easy to find. When you reach max level, you're probably only going to have normal islands available to you. Heroic islands and mythic islands are going to be locked behind a higher item level, but it doesn't really matter. You can get what you want just from normal islands. There's a weekly quest to obtain 40,000 Azerite, which might sound like a lot, but you'll chunk through that super quickly running around your islands, and when you complete it, you get 2,500 Azerite. Islands also happen to be one of the best sources of Azerite power by themselves. You can get 150 to 300 Azerite for each island you complete and win, depending depending on what difficulty you're running, which will certainly add up when you get the hang of islands and really start to tear through them. Islands are probably going to take you 15 to 20 minutes to start with, but you should be able to complete them a lot faster if you have a group who knows what they're doing, and as you get used to it. When you're on an island, try to seek out the red crosses on your map as quickly as you can. They're going to be the hot pockets of Azerite, and gathering them up before the opposite faction's team will give you a pretty quick advantage. I would recommend killing off the enemy faction at least once, halfway through the island so you can collect their Azerite bounty as well. It's a really good 1-2 combo, get them out of the game for a few minutes and collect a decent amount of Azerite at the same time. If all you want is Azerite and artifact power, islands are definitely the way to go, but they don't reward you with much else. A few doubloons here and there, a chance at some extra rep with Balfour Azeroth factions, and a weapon or two, but you're not going to get the same kind of item level progression when compared to dungeons. You still get Azerite while running through dungeons too, but it's not going to come close to what you can get from islands. So you have to weigh up what you really want to get done. Do you want a mix of gear and Azerite, or just the Azerite itself? To start with, I would recommend doing enough islands to get your weekly quest done, and then get that nice big chunk of artifact power, and then move on to other content until you're well geared. If you still need artifact power at that point, head back to the islands. You should also keep an eye on your map for Azerite or artifact power world quests. They can reward quite a variety from just a handful full to a few hundred. Remember to turn war mode on when you're knocking out artifact power world quests for that extra 10% bonus. Just be careful, with war mode turned on, it's open season. I've already seen a few rogues sporting an assassin's badge. Grouping up with like-minded individuals before you set out should help keep you safe, or maybe it's time to join a guild. They can come in handy now and then. And of course, world quests go hand in hand with emissary quests. If you're really serious about farming up some amulet levels, the large Azerite rewards from emissary quests should definitely be on your list of stuff to get done each day, or once every three days. Just don't let the emissaries expire and you should be fine. 
But perhaps the most important piece of information I can give you, which is related to your amulet and its progression, is that whenever you achieve a new rank of reputation with the Champions of Azeroth faction, you'll get a quest from Magni, which increases the item level of your artifact by 15. So that's a total of 60 item levels from Champions of Azeroth reputation alone, making it incredibly important. Maybe not for farming artifact power, or for increasing the actual level of your amulet to unlock more Azerite powers, but still important for the item level portion of your new artifact. You can get rep with the Champions of Azeroth by completing world quests, using an inscription contract, and there's even a chance to get a rep item from doing islands. You should be able to get to Exalted relatively quickly if you're actively working on your reputations. But that's it for this video, nice and quick, and hopefully all you should need to get farming that wonderful artifact power. Someone save me, I don't want to farm AP all over again. Can't we just use the billions we farmed in Legion? Oh well, back to the grind. What are you going to do to get that amulet of yours leveled up quickly? Leave all your thoughts in the comments section below. A big thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon. You can see their names floating by on screen. If you want to join these lovely guys and gals, you can find a link in the description below. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time.